morning, Mrs. Johnson. We've hey, folks. Another week, another episode. Let's go. We're going in 30 seconds. Donnie here at your back and calm. Please fill me in on the number of players, won't you? All alone. <laughs> Exciting. Type in your nomenclature, won't you? Yeah, we'll let him name us. Come on. Name away. You do know how to spelunk your name, don't you, player one? Yeah. We'll let you name us. Come on. Hmm, perhaps I should take Clover. Yep, I'm calling you late for dinner. That works. Great, now I get to tell you the institutional. Many questions will prevail themselves upon you. You need to wingle out the correct choice and impress the boutonniere next to it. There is a clock counting down your time, so if you buzz in fourth with, the more Sonorians you'll win. <laughs> or surrender. Okay, you're ready on set. Ten seconds. Bye, Kyrian. Can we get a monster check, please? Five. That's good. Four. Monster. Three. Four. Taste the memory. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and those toilet paper commercials with the cartoon bears terrify me. Oh good, you're all alone. Now he's just about to do some laundry. This will be much more fun. <laughs> and today's wrong answer I of the game sarcasm. is being brought to you by Girly Drink Supply Warehouse. When a blue drink in a flamingo tumbler isn't enough, add some plastic sh Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game <laughs> and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Okay, <laughs> let's hit it. First up, oh brothers. If my grandmother is the great grandmother of the Jonas brothers and the Jonas brothers are not my sons, which they aren't, how should I refer to them at family reunions? The Jonas first cousins once removed, the Jonas second cousins once removed, the Jonas second cousins, or the Jonas first cousins twice removed? I have no idea. I've never learned how this works. Second cousins. Watch your clock. <laughs> You think genealogy is the study of denim, don't you? Hey, it works for oh, me. you're gonna kick yourself. By sharing no, the not. same grandparent with a generational gap between us, we would be first cousins once removed. <laughs> to reiterate, huh. I am not actually related to the Jonas Brothers. That's what we do with this game, we make things up. Okay? Moving on! <clears throat> Excuse me, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for... I've got linguine on my boot. Italy is often referred to as being shaped like a big boot. If it's a thigh-high boot, where's Rome? Near the middle of the thigh, just below the knee, on the boot heel, or on the tip of the toes? Should be just below the knee. The city of Rome, located in the Lazio region of Italy, would put it slightly below the kneecap if Italy were a thigh-high. <laughs> Yes, the Italians brought us some of the greatest historical figures ever known. Mario and Luigi, Chef Boyardee, um, Da Vinci Codes. I can't think of any either right now. Here's a good one. This, that, and the other question. Who is the eponymous character on Seinfeld? George, Jerry, Elaine, or Cosmo? You know, Jerry would seem to be the right... But Cosmo's a girly drink, isn't it? Smart people choose this. The character Jerry's last name is Seinfeld, making him the eponymous character in the show. Another word for this is titular. He's the titular character in the show. And speaking of titular, he's real and he's spectacular. No, Kramer wasn't the right answer. But a Cosmo might be the right drink for these... Assorted tiny umbrellas you've just won from the Girly Drink Supply Warehouse. Assorted tiny umbrellas keep your wet drinks dry. This wrong answer of the game just got you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. I don't want to think about that too much. Up next, Bond. Elmo Bond. And it's a dis or dat. Okay. I'm gonna read off seven names for each one. Tell me if it's a Bond girl from a James Bond movie or oh, a Lord. Sesame Street Muppet. If she's a Bond girl, press one. I if she's Bond from in a while. I need Sesame to. Street, 
Press the number two. Each one right gets you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, three hundred dollars. Each one wrong cost you one, two, three, four, five. No, forget it. And keep an eye on the clock. Answer quickly for more bonus cash. Cool, let's do it. Penelope's small bone. Oh. Very good night. Strawberry fields. Very dawn. Sherry Netherland. No. Oh. Kadabi. Christmas Jones. That performance was shaken and stirred. This dis or dad has been brought to you by the letters O C T O P U S S Y and the number 007. Where's the bomb girl? Nice. My world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Try this on for size. The night is young, Angus. You know that ACDC song you shook me all night long? Well, on what date in the Northern Hemisphere would shaking me all night long take the least time and energy? January 22nd, June 22nd, July 22nd, or September 22nd? It be June 22nd. The night is the shortest it gets all year on the summer solstice, which falls right around June 22nd. Although at this age, if ACDC is still shaking all night long, it's probably due to some unfortunate disorder. Sad but true. That's the end of round one. And you've got a pretty nice score. It's a shame there's nobody here to share it with. Getting old sucks. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. Okay, we're bringing it on. Here's one for you. Check your butterfly. Growing up, I had a pet butterfly I called Benjamin. Unfortunately, like most things I've loved, it died after I accidentally sat on it. If Benjamin the butterfly pulled a Benjamin button, how would its stages of life go? Egg, caterpillar, pupa, butterfly? Butterfly, caterpillar, pupa, egg? Caterpillar, egg, butterfly, pupa, or butterfly, pupa, caterpillar, egg? Uh, should be number four. Benjamin Button lived his life in reverse from old man to baby, and this one is the opposite of the usual butterfly life cycle. Oh, I'm starting to get a little tired. I'd have to sit down for this next question. Poopsie! Oh, I'm so sorry! Aw, oh, poor kitty. Take a stab at... He's a wild animal on the football field. Which NFL football team is not represented by a mammal? Chicago, Minnesota, Miami, Bears, or the Viking, Arizona? The Dolphins, and uh, the Cardinals. Birds aren't mammals, so those Arizona Cardinals are cold blooded. Still not sure what the Browns are. Blood and chicken. I'm sure their fans would come up with a few reasons or a few explanations. How about Quizum? Quizum? What could that mean? Oh no. Nady it means I'm Dak. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. We should spend some personal time together. We should go see a musical play. A musical? I don't know. It would have to be a really good one. Which of these musicals is one of Tulliter tries for Jana? Fane, Nanania, South Pacific, or Die Die Dirty? Huh. I have no idea. Well, South Pacific. Believe it or not, South Pacific won a Pulitzer Prize in 1950. Lucky guessing. Hey, Billy, say Les Miserables. Winning! Les Miserables. Say Bye Bye Birdie. Die Die Dirty. <laughs> say Porgy and Bess. Torgy and Dash. <laughs> Stop making fun of me! And on its way, M&M's with a glass of milk. Okay, M&M's were first introduced in 1941. So, Say M&M remixes some of his songs to honor the only three M&M's colors that have been around constantly since 1941. Which song would not be part of the list? The Real Slim Yellow Shady, Lose Yourself in the Brown, My Name is Orange, or Without Me, Green. Oh, is it orange or green? I think orange is the odd one out, isn't it? Brown, yellow, and green have always been part of the M&M lineup. Orange was introduced later. 
But give Orange some credit. Eminem too. It ain't easy being the new color in town, especially when you've been preceded by vanilla ice. Hold me, never let me go. He has a point there. Here we have time to class it up. Oh, look, a kazoo. <laughs> What was I playing? The Blue okay, Danube? Rhapsody number two on kazoo. Rhapsody in blue on kazoo. <laughs> yes, yes, that was me playing Blue Danube on kazoo. But. <laughs> and now I'm going to play a song by the Beatles on kazoo. Um, we don't really have the money for the rights to any Beatles songs, but luckily I'm not very good at playing the kazoo. <laughs> Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the number one. Four thousand dollars for a right answer. Four thousand gone if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Everything's going to be K. Name the K, K, K. Good luck, K. Oh boy. Being old, I would know that. JFK. No. There you go. Special K. Once again, being old. Uh, 5K. Where are you? Circle K. Where are you? That was an easy one. There you have it! Cool! I said that with a K to be clever and question appropriate. You probably couldn't tell. It was funny though. You don't know Jack! I still question the funny. Nice work, folks. Donnie, what's going on? Alright then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceedings? Meet Timmy. Okay, just like that was episode me. 12, folks. He likes to listen to music, play, make friends. 61 more to go. Timmy doesn't have a mother. Or more father. than that, if they ever Timmy's release this stuff via Hi, DLC. But anyway, Tim, my see you all next week. Tragic As accident. always, I, I leave you with the commercials. In retrospect, maybe Take I wasn't care, folks. in any condition to drive. Anyway, uh, will you be my new mommy or daddy? I promise to be a good son. I'll keep my room clean and eat all my vegetables except for lima beans. Those things give me horrendous farts. Uh, I'll need a car, and it'd be great if you had an extra room or a basement for my drums. There are thousands of Timmy's out there just waiting to find their forever home. If you are ready to start a new-ish family, call the It's Never Too Late Adult Orphanage, because grown-ups are children too. Hello, I'm Nick there, and I'm not here to sell you anything. I used my own money to buy some advertising time to let the world know that I hate Jeff Hansen. This isn't a tricky sales ploy or a joke. Seriously, Jeff Hansen of Chicago, Illinois is a real person and a jerk and I really hate him a lot. I am not a rich man. This commercial is expensive and is taking most of the money that I would use to send my children to college. But if it makes any of you understand just how much I hate Jeff Hansen, who is a real person who works in Chicago and lives in Evanston, has brown hair and is about six foot four, then it will be worth it. If I have one hope, it is that spending my entire life savings in these scary economic times will burn the name Jeff Hansen into your brain so that if you ever have the misfortune of actually meeting him, you will remember just how deeply and totally I hate this man and take it as a warning to steer clear. Thank you for listening. Unless you happen to be Jeff Hansen, in which case, f you, sir. Next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special, it's visual comedian Rich Coolidge. You ever walk into a restaurant and the waiter looks at you like this? And you go like this? <laughs> I told my mom I was single and she handed me this. Look at it. <laughs>
If I ever own a poster shop, this is what I'm going to sell. Hoochie Mama! That's next time on the Laugh Factory Radio Stand-Up Special. Feeling tired, groggy, sleepy? When you need an energy drink that'll get you going, try 3-Day Energy Drink. It's guaranteed to keep you wide awake and alert for up to three days at a time. Your mouth will hardly be able to keep up with your brain. I just had two of them and I've never felt more alert and alive. I mean, sure, my body's feeling a little tingly and my heart hurts and my teeth are chattering and I can't focus and my eyes are vibrating, but who cares? Because I just finished mowing my lawn and cleaning the bathroom and writing a novel and painting my house and building a garage. Who can up with that word garage anyway? It's such a weird word because it's got two G's, you know, and they're both pronounced differently. And it's like, who decided that? And one time I saw this guy at a bus stop and he had this weird ass. In 2002, a film came out that changed the genre of fantasy suspense forever. Mine, the sunlight! As it dies, a weary sight! A weary eyes! No, witch, you will not weaken me! Salazar, throw me the pendant! That film was Witch's Wheel 2. You probably don't remember the original Witch's Wheel. It was kind of a mess. But the sequel has left audiences wondering what happens next for nearly 10 years. This summer, the wait is over. Chauncey Zeigman presents Witch's Wheel 2. <laughs> 2. The silence of these woods is suspicious. <laughs> Salazar! Three elves! Quickly, Warlock! An incantation! Arriba. This July, prepare yourselves for Witch's Wheel 2. 2. The sequel. To the sequel. And now, greatest great moments in driving history. Oh man, I love this song. If only there were a way to let drivers around me know that I love this song. Ah, too bad you can't hear anything from outside these stupid rolled up windows. Wait a minute, what if I... Oh, hey. Hey, man, it's me, this has been another installment.